It is less than a week until the second DLC launches the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and today we have a full on trailer for the Zetsubo No Shima Zombies map. It is absolutely crazy with new zombies, new ways of getting around the map in a awesome, awesome setting. So without further ado guys, I'm going to let you guys watch it. Give it a thumbs up if you're excited. It comes out on April the 19th. I'll be covering it first here on my channel. Without further ado, let's take a look. Those who seek power over nature itself. Beneath the shadow of an evil, a new enemy has arisen. Here, on this island, they had no idea of what they would unleash. Oh yeah, monkey time. This is how sausage is made. Make your peace, Hellspawn. I am coming for you. So, guys, what do you think, my friends? It looks pretty nuts, doesn't it? Pretty nuts indeed. We had an idea. We had a few sort of like teasers and leaks that potentially this brand new map could be set on an island. And once we got the intro cutscene actually recently, that was confirmed. And it does look, as I said, pretty damn insane. It's taking all of us to this brand new island, which uh, we've had a little bit of backstory to, a little bit more information to, but this trailer really just backs up what's going to be happening. It looks absolutely nuts. As I mentioned, new zombies, new ways of getting around the map, and just basically craziness all around. And I'm sure there's going to be a new weapon in there as well. So tons of good stuff. Now, this DLC is going to be coming out next week on April the 19th. You can see some rituals here. Some of those symbols you may recognize actually from Shadows of Evil as a part of the Easter egg as well. What on earth? What experiments are going on here, my friends? So many questions and so many answers that will be answered when we get hands-on with this map literally next week. Instead, April the 19th is when it's going to be coming out. It's going to come along with four new multiplayer maps. I've covered two of the multiplayer maps with actual uh, map previews. I assume we may get two more over the weekend. But either way, guys, all we're going to say is stay tuned right here over the next few days leading up to this DLC. Because trust me, you're going to get more than you want. Trust me on that one. So as you see here, this is just some of the zombies getting onto the map. But notice that little green spawn in the back. There's a lot of vegetation, a lot of wildlife in the form of deadly zombies. And uh, the map looks very, very reminiscent of some of the sort of more older school, old school World at War uh, zombies maps. Now, we see the HG-40 actually being carried there by Takio. So that, of course, is in multiplayer, but it's been brought over to zombies, which is awesome. It really does just feel like uh, old school Call of Duty zombies, which I absolutely love. The Dingo there, the MX Garand, the weapons we know and love in multiplayer, all back again within zombies. I cannot wait for this. And I had a load of fun playing the last zombies map as well to Ice and Rack, so I'm more than excited to play this one. Now, notice the cobwebs in there. This is important. Notice this vegetation, this plant actually growing up from the ground in what looks to be a little actual almost like ritual area so like an area that's actually been set in stone and position has actually been set purposefully for that to grow. Now, of course, we have little plants that would grow and change colour and give different items as they change colour and grew on Shadows of Evil. So I would assume it would work in a similar way to that. So something that you want to actually grow, make bigger, and will give you better rewards as they come out. Now, notice sort of like orange haze in the background there, almost as if some sort of like poisonous gas has gone off. I feel like a lot of this is from these sort of like plants and there's vegetation everywhere. And this, my friend, in the background is important. See that little, see that little, what, what on earth is going on there? Is that zombie getting eaten? Eaten up. What on earth is going on? Of course, the classic mystery box coming back. We expect that as standard. Nothing too new there. 
Um, but there are definitely some surprises going on here. It's pretty nuts. Now, a lot of this seems to be on the ground. Uh, we've got a few buildings with a few stairways going up, but also, uh, I believe, some underground areas as well, linking all these areas together. So in terms of how tight and how compact it's going to be, it's going to be an interesting one. I feel like it's going to be lots of uh, close corners, and it's not going to be necessarily an easy map to just find one big open place and walk around. Now, do you see that big airplane going across the sky and how it was on fire? Notice how all of the jet engines are now actually broken off and down. Down on the map. I, at first, I was like, yo, this is gonna screw us up. And I was like, no, this is gonna screw the zombies up, because check this out, it's always been used as like a trap. Just mashing them up as they come in. They ain't got no chance, baby. Those guys, those poor sucker zombies are definitely going to not see the light of day tomorrow, unfortunately. But the monkey bombs, my friends, that's what we like to see. These things are super useful, super important. Whenever I play, I freaking forget that I have them on me. You know what I mean? Now, I'm going to pause for a second here. Check out on the right. It looks like a sign with a map, believe it or not, from this Zetsubu Noshima zombies map. So it looks like it was his two main sides to it. A top and a bottom, but with most of the sort of action, the open spaces being on the left and right hand side, with not too much space, very tight sort of corridors in this sort of island wildlife place on the bottom and top area. So I feel like the two buildings probably where the more open places are. If you want to get between those buildings, you definitely have to risk it and, and put yourself in some deadly situations to get there through these tight corridors. So let's continue anyway, just a little something I noticed, and hopefully it gives you a better, an idea, better idea of how the map's actually going to be laid out, because I feel like getting a good layout of the zombies map. Is is always really important. Now here is a new way of sort of traversing around. Little shoots going through the wildlife here and actually landing out at a different part of the map. We actually caught what, what looks like an underwater scene as well. This is awesome. As so you fly through the chute, we pop up out of the water. Which looks like, uh, like, if you looked at from the other entrance, of course the front would be closed. You wouldn't even know it would be a way of getting around the map. But you pop out, out the water, so what a way of getting across the map, um, which could actually save you rather than going through those more tight, close quarter, deadly sh situations I've just talked to you guys about. Notice there, there was those turbines right here, but notice how there was the minigun loadout, and also a little power up just next to it, almost looked like a little seed or a little plant. Maybe that links into the little plantations that you found on the ground towards the beginning of a trailer. I wouldn't be surprised. Deadly spiders! These spiders look horrific! Absolutely horrific! Almost like the Black Widow spider. And they seem to be like spitting cobwebs everywhere, screwing you up. Basically gonna be more like dogs, I feel. Just really, really annoying. More underwater scenes here, which I believe is a first for zombies. This is pretty awesome, throwing it out there as well. Just changing the dynamic of the map. I assume we're going to have to go in the water if we want to do some of the Easter eggs or get around the map efficiently. So it's almost forcing us into a route we haven't used before. Now, are you ready for this? What on earth is going on? This zombie seems to be infected, gets eaten up from the ground, and turns into, honestly, which looks pretty deadly, pretty scary, an absolutely insane half-plant, half-mutant, half-zombie. This thing does not an attack here does not look pleased about this, you know what I mean? This looks absolutely nuts. Him running at you, massive tree-like arms, crazy, like, uh, red glowing boils on him. He looks very scary indeed. But there we go, guys. That is a full zombies trailer. If there's anything else you notice, leave a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to hear it. And let me know how excited you are. As I said, stay tuned on this channel. Trust me. Um, as you know, I had a lot of early stuff for the first map pack, so who knows what's going to happen for the second map pack. Um, but if you have enjoyed give it a thumbs up check out more videos on screen here I cannot wait for April the 19th and I'll see you guys soon